Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everybody. How are you doing this morning? <laughs> Welcome to KubeCon. First timers, where are you at? How many have been to over three of these? Over five? Over seven? How many were there when uh, Kubernetes was started over 10 years ago? Not even you, Scott? Oh, she was. Welcome everybody. You're at the Project Lightning Talks. Thank you for coming. I know it is Oh, it's a little hot here on the mic. I know it's early in the morning, so I appreciate you coming. My name is George Castro. I am on the CNCF project staff, and I'm going to teach you how this room is going to work. So welcome. Nothing made me happier than walking up here and seeing all these Unix terminals on your laptop. So thank you very much. That's the kind of conference uh, this is. The, the word of the day in this room is going to be chill ops. Uh, we're going to have a lightning talk every seven minutes. I don't expect you to sit through that because I have to and it's a nightmare. So we expect you to come in and out, bring a friend, dip in. We tried to schedule it to put together a schedule for you of related talks so that you can come in, get what you need to do, and find the information that you're looking for. Um, this will culminate for us in the project pavilion that opens on Wednesday. So all of the projects that you see here, we have over 200 projects in the CNCF and they will have project booths, lightning talks here, and we are trying to give you as many opportunities as possible to interface with them. Because while we all are software engineers, I want you to think about the ecology of cloud native. This is an ecosystem, as you can tell. We don't take ourselves too seriously, but it is important for us to understand the relationships between the maintainers, the software, you end users. You're here to find out all of the good stuff um, that our cloud native community is producing. Because at the end of the day, it is about sustainability. And I want us to have those kind of high level conversations. You're here to learn about this technology. And I'm here to introduce you to some of the coolest open source cloud native contributors in the industry. Our community kind of defaults to a bias for action. You can absolutely come to KubeCon go through the talks, do all that stuff. What I would like to encourage you to do is to seek out maintainers, seek out projects, see what you're looking for. In your mind, figure out the goal that you want to accomplish to learn that stuff that day. This conference is a lot shorter than you think it is. People tell you all the time, the best part about KubeCon and CloudNativeCon is the hallway track. But if no one tells you where the hallway track is, or you don't know anybody, it's very difficult, right? That's why we have structured this thing to give you as many opportunities to introduce each other to yourselves and meet those open source maintainers who are making all of these fantastic projects. If you find yourself halfway through the first day and you're still not finding what you're looking for or you know, maybe you're not getting what it is you need out of this, visit us at the Project Pavilion. The staff works out of there. And we will connect you to the right people. My job is to literally make sure that you are having those high-level conversations with the people that you need to do. And with that, I'm done a little bit early, but that's OK. Um, our next guest will come up and give you the slight little tour. How do you navigate these things? There's 200 of them. You're going to need a map. So with that, I'd like to introduce Lori LaRusso and Catherine Druckmann. <laughs> 